The rain fell last Thursday at Appalachian Power Park, and so did the pumpkins. More than 1,000 students from 23 schools participated in Bridgemont Community College's 13th annual pumpkin drop. Event organizers say it's an opportunity to get students interested in science and math related activities. When you're an engineer, it's, we're not all, you know, just a bunch of nerds who sit behind a desk all day. I think it's very important for them to get excited about those things early. And um, of course, we know reading and math, you know, there's the basic English, there's the basics that we need to go, you know, to have and to learn. But having them think about the science and the math, especially if they want to go into that field in the future, we need to start young and get them thinking and, and uh, getting them thinking that it's fun now. The goal of the event is not to make the squashes go splat, but rather to provide some pumpkin protection. That's why this student was so proud when her team's pumpkin made the 40-foot drop unscathed. Me and some of my teammates put a lot of, we put milk cartons instead of cups and we put cardboard so it helped absorb the shock of it and we put a lot of newspaper in the nuts. Most pumpkins were placed in cardboard boxes with all sorts of materials like blankets, bubble wrap or balloons. We had a fire truck come to the school and lift, and lift a ladder up 40 feet. The only one that lived was... The only one that lived was uh, the one, one pumpkin, and it almost didn't survive. We had water balloons cushioning it, and it broke the fall. And instead of hitting the ground with an impact, the water balloons exploded. Professor Thompson says she has a theory for a good way to safeguard a squash but she couldn't proceed with her plan. My daughter's school is here, and so I didn't want to uh, influence that's her or the school and, and not for it not to be fair, so I had to keep my thoughts to myself up until today. Um, I do know that a column structure is a very strong structure, so I was thinking of even using toilet paper or, or paper towel content, you know, holders that are in the column shape and maybe wrapping those around in some kind of, I don't know, but shh, that's a secret. Maybe they will, we'll try that next year. <laughs> All of the smashed pumpkins were picked up by an area farmer for recycling into animal feed. For West Virginia Public Broadcasting, I'm Adam Cavalier in Charleston.